Welcome back folks. So a while ago we showed you this project that we did a few years ago of a uh, addition and uh, renovation to a single wide mobile home uh, that we that we did and this is the finished product here that we're seeing right now and uh, this uh, video is going to show you the process of constructing this addition. So we started with this little single wide mobile home and uh, the, it had a an addition on it when we bought it. That little addition there was an ensuite bath off the master bedroom. And uh, we, we uh, it didn't fit with our plans. It was an illegal addition. There was no permits taken on that. Very poorly done. So uh, we wanted to take it off. And so here we're getting rid of this, this little addition and uh, getting ready to, to uh, put our own addition on. Uh, you can see there the uh, behind the plywood there on the wall. That's basically where the uh, uh, new new ensuite ended up. Is on this side of that, and uh, this is what it looked like underneath. It was just very very poorly done and uh, just had to go. And so here we've got all that old addition stripped away and cleaned off, and we're ready to start. So the first thing we do is uh, we level. Uh, before we do any new construction or any repairs, we re-level the main, the main unit, and that's what we're doing here. And here between the, uh, the addition and the old home, the, the uh, header joists on the um, original mobile home was quite rotten due to a poor renovation previously done. So we took that all out and uh, put in some new wood and replaced that whole header and got it all sound again and just made it uh, good as new there got rid of all of that rotten wood uh, ready to attach the new floor joists uh, for the new addition so once we got that done then it was time to start uh, building the foundation for the addition and you can see here where we're setting up some cribs uh, we used cribs basically the same as what the mobile home was sitting on uh, you can see the old ones underneath there and we just basically copied that and so here we have the the beam, the sporting beam sitting on the cribs and uh, we're working on the new joists. So the uh, joists are 2 by 8 and the span there was a, a 10 foot span. Uh, the actual span itself was about uh, 8 foot 6 from the beam to the to the building there. And uh, there you can see a crib. So the bottom, the bottom of the crib was treated material. It sits on the uh, concrete there. And this is looking from the back. So uh, that where that door is with the window in, that's uh, that wall was taken out, and that's where the master bedroom was enlarged. So once the floor joists were all set, it was time to get the subfloor down, and we used a 5 8 T and G. OSB subfloor and it was glued and screw nailed to the floor joists. And then after that it was time to start uh, setting walls up, building walls. And uh, we started with this exterior wall, the long one. And uh, we used these jacks, it was quite a heavy wall, so we used these wall jacks to lift the wall up. And this is a device that just walks up a 2x4. Basically, one person can lift the whole wall with them. So we there's the first wall up. That's the outside wall. And then we frame the front wall next. That's where the patio doors ended up, that big opening there. And then we also repaired uh, all of the sheeting there where the uh, OSB is there, you can see. There's some rot again from a, a poorly done previous renovation. And here you can see the inside walls framed up and uh, there's the shower unit in the ensuite. It had to be put in at this time so that uh, we could get it in, otherwise you wouldn't get it in. It's quite a large unit. This is looking down into the new mudroom and the dining room. Looking into the master bedroom here. 
and the ensuite bat. So this addition uh, was 360 square feet. Uh, the original home was 840 square feet. So we increased the, uh, the size of the home to 1,200 square feet by uh, enlarging the master bedroom, uh, adding an ensuite bath, uh, laundry room and mud room, and also a dining room. So once we got the, the walls up there and we had to get the deck built because the new roof was going to uh, be supported by the deck. And so uh, you, here you can see the, uh, the process of that. We used the concrete deck blocks and uh, used a, we used a treated uh, joist for this. Again, a 2x8. Here you can see the concrete blocks. That block is buried about halfway into the ground there. And you can see how, how we flashed it along the wall. So the decking we used was a five quarter by six, and again, it was a it's a treated material as well. And we screw that to the to the joists using the ceramic coated screws because they were the, of the treated. And so once we got the deck all done, we were ready to start setting up. Uh, posts and beams uh, that these were going to support the new roof this is all being done now pre preparation for setting uh, ceiling joists and then ultimately rafters so uh, quite a bit of the exterior wall between the addition and the and the original mobile home was taken out so we had to put in these temporary walls uh, to hold the mobile home roof while we took out the exterior walls and replaced those with beams. So here you can see uh, beams coming in place. Here we've got the roof stripped off on that side ready to start building on top of it. And uh, here you can see where the the wall has been taken out and these rafters are just hanging supported by that temporary wall until this beam was put in and now the rafters from the mobile home are hanging off of this beam. Here you can see the uh, hangers. So then we started setting the ceiling joists across the addition. You can see there the various beams that we had to install to support everything. This is the beam across the master bedroom area. This created a flat ceiling across that room. A large hole there in the in the joist is where the uh, tray ceiling for the dining room went. So once the joists were all set, it was time to start framing the rafters. Uh, so these are stick built rafters. These are not trusses. These are built on site and you can see how we uh, did a roof over the mobile home itself. Again, there's that opening for the tray ceiling. That's uh, the front there, are the three gables. Yeah, this is looking at it from the back with most of the rafters up and set. There you can see the original mobile home tucked in. This is a beam over the porch that's holding the roof and the joists over the porch. And there you can see how the new roof just flows into the old roof. I'm just taking a look at the framing here from below. You see the posts and beams, how everything's held together there. And so for this whole process, uh, you know, we had it really open, so we had to protect it from weather. The 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 the, the uh, old mobile home part from weather with these tarps. So we were under these tarps for quite a while, constantly barraged with wind and rain, and uh, yeah, the weather wasn't great when we did this. But finally, we were ready for shingles. 
got our shingles delivered and it was time to to start roofing and start get it closed up so here we uh, started we started roofing and we're using a uh, laminate shingle a fiberglass asphalt laminate sh uh, laminated shingle Made a really nice roof. Uh, that's a, it's a nice product, and it really felt good to get that roof on. I can tell you that after all that weeks and weeks of fighting that tarp and the wind trying to get it off, and uh, yeah, it was nice to get to this point. So once we had. Uh, had the home to this point, uh, the addition is on and we're under cover again. It was time to start getting the exterior finished up. We uh, were under contract with this park. Uh, we had to uh, sign a performance guarantee with them and we had to be done in a certain time period with the outside. They didn't care about the inside, but they wanted the outside done in a certain certain time limit. So uh, it was uh, uh, a matter of priority to get the outside finished. So we did uh, the railings, uh, we did the windows, the window trim, and uh, you know, siding, soffits, basically, the, you know, all of the exterior stuff. Here you can see the soffits going in. And we used a, uh, we used a Nova wrap, a house wrap. Uh, some people will use tar paper. In this particular application, the tar paper is not a good idea. Uh, you want the home to breathe. Uh, so uh, a, a technical paper sheathing is, uh, is uh, preferred. Mm, this is showing the skirting done. This, we use the vinyl skirting. This is what it looked like underneath the addition with the cribs and the beam. And there you can see the uh, skirting. This is underneath the deck. And here we're putting some siding on. We chose the vinyl siding for this home. And there's Zanny. Some of you folks that have been uh, watching our videos have uh, been introduced to her. She's my daughter and uh, helps me out a lot on these projects. This is the uh, access into the crawl space. And there's the front door. And this is up in the gable. Uh, we had three gables and we used this um, vinyl shingle product up in the gables which is which is quite nice so we finally got the outside all done we had a little bit of landscaping done there and uh, then it was time to to start working on the inside so the first thing that uh, we had to do was take care of all of the mechanical systems in the home and so the new hot water tank was installed and we installed the new plumbing uh, new plumbing fixtures, uh, showers, toilets, all of that stuff is all new. Uh, this home had uh, poly B piping in it, and so we removed that and replaced it with PEX. And here you can see there was places where we opened up the floor to get down inside to get rid of the old poly B plumbing. And we had to install some new uh, drain and waste and vent uh, pipes as well. So there was quite a bit of work done from the top. And here's underneath the crawl, sp in the crawl space underneath the addition, it shows the new, uh, the new plumbing underneath there, that's all drain. And then of course there was electrical to do, there was a lot of new outlets that had to be installed. Uh, we upgraded uh, to uh, arc fault uh, breakers in the bedroom areas to, per code. 
and so took out these you know these old plugs and stuff and I just uh, brought everything right up to the current code and then we uh, had the uh, HVAC system installed so this was a combination heating cooling unit and uh, this uh, sits outside uh, this got rid of the furnace inside so there was no furnace noise inside anymore and uh, the space where the furnace inside was uh, became occupied by the fridge so it gave us more room in the in the kitchen really nice system and once we had that all sorted away then it was time to do insulation and vapor barrier uh, to get ready for our drywall this is the tray ceiling in the dining room and here you can see where the old meets the new And this is looking through the addition towards the front of the home. Then once we got done with that, it was time to start drywalling. And here you can see where the old meets the new. So we used a half inch drywall on all the new parts of the, uh, of the home. This is looking into the mudroom here. And this is looking down the hall. On the left is new, on the right, or sorry, left is old, on the right is new. And this is the new part of the uh, master bedroom. You can see the old ceiling where the old meets the new. Up above that is the beam that holds everything that uh, you could see from the top there before. So once we got the, the, the drywall installed, then it was time to do the blowing in insulation in the attic. And uh, so we used this machine, we rented it from Home Depot, and uh, we used this uh, fiberglass product and we, we blew it into the attic. Uh, we had a, a attic access in, uh, in the addition that we could get up in the attic. And so we added insulation to the uh, existing mobile home and, and over the, the addition as well. So you can see there we ended up about 17 inches of, of material. So in the process, uh, we had a change of seasons and uh, everyone put their golf clubs away and uh, dug out their snow skis. And uh, that's one of the attractions of Living where we are, we're in a Four Seasons playground, as they call it. And uh, so we were snug as a bug in our little project there and just enjoyed spending the winter uh, working away and finishing off the interior. So once the drywalling was done, it was time for uh, joint filling and, and finishing the ceilings and uh, started painting. many many hours of work and uh, then it was time to start doing the mill work and there you can see uh, on the right side is the uh, original and on the left is the addition this is looking the other way and uh, here you can see the mill work starting to come together New lighting installed, we installed uh, LED lighting in this home. Lots of painting, there's a lot of, a lot of painting work to do. And this is uh, building shelves, this is the way we like to build our shelves. And then of course there was cabinetry to be installed. We installed new cabinetry throughout the, the home, but we're just showing here, you here kind of what was uh, done in the addition part for the addition. Uh, this is in the laundry room area there. And here the closet shelves are all out being painted. 
Uh, here we're spraying the doors. And then it was time to finish up floors. So here we're doing some ceramic tile. Uh, this is in the ensuite bath, the new ensuite bath. And yes, those are real ceramic tiles. And here we're here we are seeing where uh, again where the addition meets the old part. You can see new floor and old floor there. This is the new floor in the new laundry room. And this is with the tile on top. And this is in the back to the master bedroom, and there you can see where the uh, old floor meets the new floor. And this is uh, carpet under padding. And uh, then carpet, we did carpet in the bedrooms. And then uh, here you can see where we laid the laminate floor, and this is uh, between the old and new floor, and the again in the, between the old part and the new part. And then, kind of all of a sudden, one day you work for your, for weeks and weeks and months, and all of a sudden, uh, it's done. Yeah, so that's the laundry area. This was a little cabinet that we ended up with in the hall, uh, just sort of a little uh, extra cabinet. And then we made the uh, master bedroom basically twice as big as it was. So there, that's the that's the uh, process, folks, and. Uh, Thanks for watching.